Four. And three, two, one, go. Oh, I was going to record too, but it says I have to request permission. All right. Monday Zoom chat. This week, in honor of St. Patty's Day, uh, this month we decided to do the oils called the green labels. Um, that includes. uh the the following so we're actually going to talk about basil cilantro and coriander fennel marjoram oregano rosemary and thyme um i use these in my cooking a lot um they have some amazing uses uh need to be in your pantry and we're fixing to show you why as a point of reference i would like to draw your attention to how many times you will hear the words cleansing and moving in the properties of these oils as we go through them. So let's get going. Let's start with basil. Promotes mental alertness, lessens anxious feelings. Um, it may help ease monthly feminine discomfort. That's always a good one. And of course, it's always good for pasta. Now, basil history spans over 4,000 years. Uh, back to the, the first accounts mentioned, it was grown in Egypt. Uh, the, the name, the second half of, of the name, basil, is from, and we're looking at Ossimum basilicum, uh, the, the scientific name for it, uh, comes from Ossimus and the end of it the the il anyway is the from the greek word uh for king or kingly uh it is a sacred herb in its native india and there there are several different forms of basil um but it's called the royal herb um, it's been cultivated in India for more than 5,000 years. I thought that was really interesting. This, this herb has been used a lot. Now, the smell of basil essential oil suggests strength to the heart and brings about relaxation to the mind. It may strengthen the adrenals and restore the body to its natural rhythms of sleep, activity, and rest. It's beneficial for recovery from negative habits and leaves one energized, renewed, rejuvenated, rested, and strengthened. Cilantro. Um, again, you're, you're going to find both cilantro and coriander are going to have, have to do with the digestion. They are great for after you're overindulging. Now, let me explain that, that coriander is actually the seed of the cilantro plant. If you want a clean smelling aroma, you can diffuse three to four drops of cilantro with the citrus of your choice and it is fantastic. It is a palate cleanser. No one's quite sure where it originated, but it has been grown for, it has been recorded use for at least 5,000 years. Uh, it's talked about in the Bible. Um, it has, it's, been found in Egyptian tombs. This thing, the, this plant has been used a lot. Coriander is also mentioned in Arabian Nights, a book that's over a thousand years old. Uh, cilantro is the oil of releasing control. Cilantro facilitates a detoxification of negative emotions and debris. It is cleansing, liberating, easing, lightening, and unattaching from obsessions. And coriander, again, is great for digestion. Coriander is awesome on the skin. So you can actually use the coriander oil for some of your DIY skin. Um, you guys are gonna love this. Um, for those of you who have issues with the smell, coriander was named after the bed bug emitting the same odor. 
and it is commonly named cilantro. It originated in Southern Europe. Again, it's mentioned in the Egyptian papyrus records. It's a uh, traced back to 5000 BC. Um, like I said, all of these oils tonight are, are really ancient oils. Then it was, it's, and it is still to this day used in, to flavor breads in the Mediterranean, especially. Coriander is the oil of integrity. Often the mind's perspective of the right way is too limiting and seen only from one perspective. Coriander moves the individual from doing things for the acceptance of others to honoring and living from the true self, giving inner guidance, integrity, and uniqueness. You can see so far, we've only gone through three and we've, we have covered a lot of cleansing. Fennel, taken internally to promote healthy digestion again. Um, it is wonderful to use um, with new mothers. Um, it, it may help promote um, the milk coming in. Uh, it's a healthy metabolic oil. It's great for liver function and circulation. There again, we have that cleansing. And it may help support the health of lungs and respiratory tract. I do enjoy using this oil um, in, in, in my diffusing during the winter time. It, it really does work well. Mm -hmm. It has recorded use over 4,000 years old again. Um, was written about at least as early as 1500 BC. Fennel was also known to the Chinese, Hindus, and Egyptians as a medicine and spice. The Italians are very fond of the seeds as seasoning. A warm tea of the seeds, slightly sweetened with honey, is a useful carminative for restless babies. A stronger tea or the oil on a lump of sugar is soothing for older children or adults. Fennel supports an individual in listening to the subtle messages of the body, such as a loss of signals due to emotional overeating, severe dieting, eating issues, or drug abuse. Fennel helps one to be responsible, tune into one's body, create satisfaction, and mature thoughts. Marjoram, this is, this is right up there with oregano. And actually, um, the two are so similar that you cannot separate them in the older texts. Um, so any older texts, you don't know whether they were talking about marjoram or oregano, um, but there are definitely different targets for each of them. It's valued for its calming properties and its positive effect on the nervous system. Uh, it's great on a soothing massage for targeting stressed, tired muscles. Supports healthy immune function. May promote healthy cardiovascular system function. That's a, that's a good one right there. The herb dates back to ancient Greece. There again. In ancient mythology, the goddess Venus created marjoram and gave it sweet, gave it its sweet flavor and scent. Aphrodite also treasured the herb. Later generations used them in many things. Marjoram is the oil of connection. Marjoram helps those who have developed a fear of close relationships. Those who tend to be reclusive due to fear of close relationships, giving them a feeling of being connected warm, soft-hearted, an ability to trust, and a feeling of safety. Oregano. You can see that oregano is ore oreganum vulgare, um, which is the only difference between the name of the oregano and marjoram plant. Now, oregano, you can put two to three drops in a veggie cap capsule to help maintain a healthy immune system, and I think everybody here has done that at least once. Supports healthy digestion and respiratory function. It's used as a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. The ancient Greeks were among the first to take advantage of its medicinal qualities. It is called delight of the mountains. 
um, and truly the the scent of it is delightful. Oregano was also historically used as a key ingredient in alcoholic ales to prevent them from turning sour. That's a very interesting note there that tells you how it's used. Wild oregano is a natural mineral treasure house containing a density of minerals that would rival virtually any food. Um, it's rich in a calcium, magnesium, zinc, iron, potassium, copper, boron, and manganese, vitamin C and A, and niacin are also contained. And let me explain a little bit about how that, why that happens. Um, oregano and doTERRA is very good at, um, uh, they're very proud of the fact that they grow this in its native environment. Oregano actually has a very long root system. It reaches way down into the ground to pull those nutrients up um, from areas of the soil that have not been, the surface has not been uh, changed or adjusted. And that's, that's what makes oregano so valuable as a mineral powerhouse. Oregano is the oil of humility and non-attachment. The forceful and intense aroma of oregano cuts through to the heart of the matter and teaches individuals to do the same. It clears blocks, negativity, and negative attachments. It teaches humility, makes one teachable, flexible, with a willingness to be wrong, and helps open one up to devotion. Now I have here a really awesome garlic spread that I, I will just mix up uh, to put on my garlic bread um, before I pop it in the oven. And I've been known to, to flop a, a, a teaspoon of this on top of a good steak too. Um, so that is a, my, one of my favorite oregano recipes. Rosemary officinalis. Rosmarinus officinalis uh, supports healthy respiratory function. You can take it internally to support healthy internal organ function. You can apply to the scalp and massage for an abundant looking head of hair. It helps reduce nervous tension and occasional fatigue. <laughs> Rosemary basically means um, fluid near the sea, basically. Uh, it is very good at unclogging and opening the body and emotions to help with transitions and creating new experiences. Known for eons as an inspiring herb, rosemary is probably one of the most written about herbs in ancient texts. Rosemary is the oil of knowledge and transmission. It assists individuals with learning disabilities it brings expansion to the mind, supporting individuals in receiving new information and new experiences. It gives one mental clarity, knowledgeable, teachable, inspired, and open to new experiences. It's a very, it it's an uh, herb that re really helps you be elastic and able to bend and flow with, with, with life as it happens. It's just a really great oil and probably one I use the most. Uh, this is my rosemary bergamot tea. I just put a drop each of rosemary and bergamot in my tea. Um, and I actually will start it first thing in the morning. It's my, it's my get up and go and, and stay focused and, and add attention oil. Uh, just really great there. Thyme. Thymus vulgaris. It provides cleansing and purifying effects for the skin. You can add it to your winter routine to support a healthy immune system. Add to your favorite daytime diffuser to promote a sense of alertness and it naturally repels insects. The origin of the word thyme is Greek from the word meaning courage. Um, and that kind of explains how you can get some of the sayings, um, time heals all wounds, courage. Um, there again, this time has been recorded as far back as 3000 BC. 
Um, it's, a, it's another really old one and it was used a lot. It is known as the oil of release and forgiving. Time is one of the most powerful cleansers of the emotional body and assists in addressing trapped feelings which have been buried for a long time. It brings up and releases stagnant feelings, leaving one forgiving, tolerant, patient, patient, open-hearted, and understanding. Did you notice that all of these oils move, declutter, or cleanse the emotions? Um, I want you all to think back to our lesson on the lymphatic system and see if you can notice the correlation. Um, it, just a really amazing set of oils here. And here is a light vinegar veggie dressing. I, I have put this on salads. I have um, uh, a lot of my, my um, zucchini, you can julienne up some zucchini and toss it in this. It's just a really great light dressing. Um, I wanted to put this in here because you saw it tonight. Um, a fissinalis, when you see that on the end of a, a scientific name, um, that literally means kept in stock by a druggist or from belonging or in an officina, a storeroom. Um, and this is how they named these plants. Uh, Keep an eye out for that word right there on the end of a scientific name. That tells you a lot about the oil. And vulgaris, you will also see that. Vulgaris is, you can, you can trace these oils and herbs back to um, the common peoples. These were the plants that were easy for common people to grow. And so a lot of them would have them right there next to the house where they could run out and pick them. You'll find that in them. Um, uh, several of the oils we talked about tonight. And I just wanted to give you a little sample of that. Okay, so next week we are doing superpowers in biblical time and now. Can't wait for that one. Felissa has some great information for that and we'll be getting it together and, and putting it together for you. Uh, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. we have our book study. And we're still on the shack, so we'll see y'all Wednesday, uh, and we'll have some fun with that. The love of a single heart can change the world, and we are changing the world one drop, one person, one community at a time. If y'all liked what you read, you can reach us at felissa at doTERRA at outlook.com or robin at theoldmasonhomestead.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Felissa at ChooseHealth.us or Robin at Inspiring Solutions Together. And we will see you next week. Y'all have a great evening. <laughs>